After such a period of mourning in the UK, my attention turned to the subject matter of hymns being adopted and adapted by prog rock bands, and I immediately thought of the version of Jerusalem by Emerson, Lake and Palmer. It was always a favourite hymn of mine from back when I was a schoolboy and seemed a great topic for today's reaction track. This rendition of Jerusalem was included in the 73 album Brain Salad Surgery. The arrangement of the hymn is notable for the, its first use of the polyphonic synthesizer, the Moog Apollo. It was released as a single but failed to chart. Greg Blake's vocals here immediately gives the impression of a lone choir boy asked to sing solo. And was the holy Lamb of God on This phrase, Dark Satanic Mills, it was entered into the English, English language as a result of this poem. It's often referred to as the, uh, referring to the early Industrial Revolution and its destruction of nature and human relationships. Powers to a mighty crescendo with organ, bass and drums competing for the centre stage until calm descends once more. Blake wrote the poem Jerusalem in Sussex in a village called Felpham. It was in a cottage where he resided in for three years. And that particular dwelling has been preserved and it currently serves as a tourist attraction known as Blake's Cottages. In the most common interpretation of the poem, Blake asks whether a visit by Jesus briefly created heaven in England in contrast to the dark satanic mills of the Industrial Revolution. Let's look at the lyrics and did those feet in ancient time walk upon England's mountains green and was the holy Lamb of God on England's pleasant pasture seen and did the countenance divine shine forth upon our clouded hills and was Jerusalem builded there among those dark satanic mills bring me my bow of burning gold bring me my arrows of desire bring me my spear 
O clouds unfold, bring me my chariot of fire. I will not cease from mental fight, nor shall my sword sleep in my hand, till we have built Jerusalem in England's green and pleasant land. Let me know what your assessments would be in the comments below. I look forward to your thoughts and will enjoy reading them. If you've enjoyed the content, then give it a like and share on your social media feeds. This tells YouTube that more people would enjoy the content and makes them offer it to others. Please also consider subscribing to the channel. It means so much and we're very close to 300 subscribers now. On screen now is a link to another video that has proved popular recently and I know it's one that you will enjoy. So I'll see you across there.